Welcome back to MKE Gadgets. Quite often I get asked, how do I come up with my projects? Where do my ideas come from? Well, it's kind of simple. A lot of times my ideas come from stuff for around the shop. So two years ago, I got this Milwaukee Power Tools fan for a Christmas gift, and I've been enjoying it ever since. It came with this power supply with a five foot cord. But the only problem I have with this is how do you keep them together? It has this long Velcro strap. So I guess you're supposed to strap it along the fan somehow. But I thought there's gotta be a better way of doing this. Having a 3D printer, I thought, well, if I can print a bracket that holds the power supply, and that fits in there pretty nice. And with the black plastic matches the fan and the power supply pretty good. So that problem is solved. And it took me a couple of tries. Then I needed some place to locate this clamp on the fan. And on the ends it has these slots. So I thought, well, if I can make a plate that fits in the back of that slot and doesn't fall out, and I screw this clamp to it, I'd be in business. The next problem I found out, when you tighten these screws down, it squishes this and bends that and the power supply wouldn't fit in nice. So then I came up with a spacer that filled that gap real well. I made eight different backing plates till I settled on this design. These two holes could tap 1024 for some flathead cap screws. First thing we gotta do is tap those holes. I recently got this tapping guide and I found it to be very helpful. We're going 1024, so we use the hole with the 10 on it. I'm gonna use my cordless drill. Lamp the 10 hole with the hole to be tapped. And we're gonna do a little power tapping. Let's do the second hole. With the two holes tapped, let's install this. So you can take a close look at the detail here. There's two different sizes. The thinner one fits in the A-frame and this part stops it from going all the way through. So when you set it all the way in the back, it doesn't really slide up or down or left to right. Here's the screws I have. 1024, one inch long with a Phillips head. Place the two screws into the countersunk holes in the bracket. Add your spacer to the back. I have the two screw holes facing up Insert that in from the back and then just tighten them down. That's how it looks all assembled. It doesn't wiggle. It can slide left or right. Just add your power supply. Slides right down. And then I take the cord and wind it around, around the power supply. And then I just wind the Velcro strap around the A-frame and Velcro it onto itself. And there you have your power supply, always on hand with your fan. It won't fall out. You shake it. You can shake it 
it doesn't move. And it really looks like it's supposed to belong there. It really goes well with it. The black plastic of the printed part and the black plastic of the fan. Kind of looks like it belongs there, doesn't it? It's turned out pretty well today. In the bottom, I'll put down a link to Thingiverse, and Thingiverse is a database for 3D printing. So anybody can go on Thingiverse and download the files and print this out yourself. This is MKE Gadgets. I hope you liked today's video where I made a little bracket that keeps your power supply and your fan together. Put down in the comments if you make one. Please share this video. Subscribe if you haven't. This is MKE Gadgets. We'll see you tomorrow.